Hello everyone, welcome back to the Limits of Artesian and the final deciding championship race of LOA season pri uh, Prime Season 8. I do beg your pardon. My name is Gareth and joining me once again in commentary is Jules. Jules, how are you? Are you ready to find out who's the champion? I am, yes. Uh, I must, I, I'm expecting you to wrong foot me then, because like you keep doing it, but when I expect it, you don't tonight. <laughs> Um, yeah, so um, great race for Greening, not such a great race for Messenger, although neither of them actually scored any points yet because they're dropping their worst results. Um, Dan Hill extending his lead slightly over Chris White. So yeah, we'll see what happens. Um, but Mike Murphy and Russell Bright starting on the front row for the second race. Yeah, and we were talking about this in uh, race one that uh, Russell does have a good he's got a good track record of scoring that like all important sort of seventh eighth place to get on the front row of the feature race but he does have the unfortunate track record of one too many errors from when he goes from that uh, starting row so let's hope that doesn't happen this time sounds like kelly in the usf yes i think he's got a record of inverted poles and he hasn't converted any of them it's sad news <laughs> indeed um Kelly's starting quite rough far back there, just a couple of places behind Winslade. Yeah, after they make contact in to Megat Speckers in the first race. Big shame for those guys, so we're waiting for our drivers to form up. When I see Sam stop back, he's uh, he's been away for a long time, flying aeroplanes all over the place, so yeah. Hopefully he's not yeah. going flying in the Formula 4. Well, he did in race 1, didn't he? Yes. After a bit of a contact with uh, Winslade which pitched them both into a spin yeah here we go then cars are on the grid we are getting ready for 10 laps of Silverstone to decide who will be the champion between Messenger and Greening and who will be the Club 1500 champion between Hill and White red lights are on and we're racing at Silverstone. Oh, we'll spin for Bright then. That's going to lose him a couple of places. Yeah, lines ahead of him on the outside. Yeah. Oh, they touch. Let's hope for another clean start. So far, so good. Yeah. Look at that. Five, four, five wide. <laughs> oh, Right, oh, it's happened. Oh, oh, Miller's, Miller's over. Round. That's Hill round as well, isn't it? That is Hill, yeah. And it looks like one of the McLarets at least is involved. Yeah, there's been a lot of cars hitting in that incident. Miller was upside down. So the Simon board's still saying Forrester and White leading in Club 1500. What a mess. <laughs> yeah, that's right. It is a bit of a mess. We're on board with Aguirre. So it talks through it. Oh. oh no, he just yeah, too bit too much right foot. Yeah, Randy went and then it's There's just Guire's involved, Miller's involved, Barlow. Barlow and, flying off. Both McLarets. Cool camels are going around the outside to avoid Someone's facing the wrong direction. Yeah, oh, look, two they cars missing rear wings. wings. <laughs> right. So the inevitable spin. Yeah. <laughs> More spins behind. Oh no, Madden and he had a disaster first round. Who's that hit? Right, so oh. Messenger got clipped by Bright. He's a championship contender. He's indeed, yeah. And then that's... And here again. Leave. Yeah. This is Greening, then. This is Greening. Did he get through unscathed? Oh, no, Aguirre got him. Sure, that was Aguirre. Yeah, 666. I think we'll see here. Look at this. Look at his right front. Oh, it's gone in. It has... Yeah, that's that's that. On board with Dan Hill. Oh, just gets oh, he, he thought he'd made it. Yeah, <laughs> it's horrible when that happens. You think you're through, and then just bang. <laughs> oh, and over the curb as well. Yeah, he's not going to take that the sausage. So what happened? Oh, it was a it was a wire. Yeah, secondary contact. This round, unlucky, and Chris White tipped into by Dom Parker so as all the championship rivals all four of them were involved in that yeah that's a huge mess there's left forest what the heck was that <laughs> he 
don't know. <laughs> it's a nightmare. Yeah, that was an inverted grid start. <laughs> so we've, we've, I mean, a little bit of yellow flag trouble there. Our, uh, our top, I mean, top eight reversed. It shouldn't. We shouldn't be getting things like that, really. I mean, that's that's. Well, no, a... it was one thing, isn't it? Russell misjudged his throttle and lost it, and then everybody had nowhere to go. Look at that White's nose is very out of shape there. Yeah, I mean, I think it's just unlucky. Yeah, it's. It uh, happens. To, it yeah. happens, and if it happens near the front, then there's more cars to go into the back of it. It's not like the old days when we used to have a full reverse grid. No, I mean that, that was crazy. <laughs> look at look at Greening's wheel there. Yeah, that's definitely bent in, isn't it? It is, yeah. That is going to be scrubbing speed. <laughs> be interesting to keep an eye on his times then, because he's currently in four, uh, fifth place. Chris, are you going for the uh, low downforce option? <laughs> My rear wings are very silly. <laughs> yeah, extremely low downforce, yeah. Chassis drivers. Indeed. So who's in the pit lane? Parker's in the pit lane. Aguirre's in the pit lane. Maxwell's in the pit lane. Miller as well. Chris White's and in the pit White. lane. Hill's in the pit lane. So the two championship rivals for Club 1500. Barlow's in the pits as well. Oh yeah, there's Innes and Renwick. And then we have Mr. Renwick with the low down fourth and three wheel option. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there he is. That's Yeah, that's not looking good. No, I can see four wheels, so I'm not sure what Innes is seeing there. Yeah, well, one less wheel than you. <laughs> <laughs> so Pepper is in second, McManaman is in third here. Yeah, and he's leading a big train of cars behind him. White currently ahead of Hill, which he needs to be. Yep. But only one place. And That's Forrester good. scoring good for McLaren. So Mark Zeff trying to scythe his way through. Russell just behind them as well. So Russell won't want to be held up by the clubbers. He'll be trying to make his way through as many well, as he can. He well, got Mark brutalised quite much by Miller, so I wonder how fast his car is. Yeah, yeah, he stayed out. Everyone else has pitted. Except Greening, of course. Hmm. He's in fifth, we saw. He's dropping back for a message there, isn't he? Yeah, he is. <laughs> Not surprised to the wheel pointing like <laughs> the that. The amount of damage, yeah. There's this line and uh, Nick Lee. Nick Lee didn't really get a break last race. He was fighting the whole way and it seems to have continued. <laughs> yeah. Mike Murphy out in front. He started on pole, obviously. So managed to avoid all the carnage behind him greening in the pit lane look I'm not surprised here he comes so this could be very telling for the championship Forrester with the fastest lap in club 1500 so now Chris has found the top step he's uh, struggling to keep him off it Good battle here between Zef and Winslade. Kelly yeah. up eight. Zef up eight. Winst Martel up eight. So currently Greening leads 418 to 404. Well, that's tight. It's not getting many points for 12. No. <laughs> the messenger needs more, obviously. Yeah, he's got to get he's past... He's got a quite of a mountain to climb, hasn't he, points-wise? Yes, and he's climb past Line and... Uh, Line, Lee and Murphy. Here's Line on the back of Nick Lee. Murphy doing very well here. Yeah, he is, yeah. Showing good pace here. Well, he won on deba debut in the USF 2000, although that was at uh, Charlotte, I think it was, on the Oval. Still start as you mean to go on yes absolutely and ball with Winslade then chasing Zef as they come through Magus and Beckett's the scene of the disaster from race one it's a better line here for Winslade is he going to get a better exit we cut away from the action is Chris White recovering from his pit stop 
So he's up in the fifth place. Where's Hill? He's two places back. Two places back. And here comes Greening deposing Bright. So obviously Russell's pitted. Uh, Russell's not pitted, and you can see the damage on his car. Greening has pitted. Yes. Four nine ten to four four. Yeah. So Greening really, if he has a collision, then it's uh, it's all good. The messenger. Drive free for Sam. Stop. Flat mm, free as well. Welcome back, Sam. He probably just misses the extra axis. He wants to be able to go up and down as well. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, Rich. I've fixed it a bit. Uh oh. No, you missed me. It's okay. Oh. <laughs> So what's Greening's next we target? Hit, it's Winslade, two and a half seconds ahead. No, we did not. No, to get to him, he's going to have to get past Lewis. Okay, good. Looks like he should get the job done down the Wellington Strait and into Brooklyn's. Yep. Steve Pepper just ahead as well. Nick Lee has caught Murphy at the front. Yeah, he has, yeah. Line's still Very with him wide as well. for line. <laughs> <laughs> so some big pressure going on here for Mike Murphy, for Nick Lee and for Line. And they've got Championship Challenger, Messenger just behind them. Yeah, who was in contact in that first incident, but he stayed out, so he must think the car's okay. Yeah, Nick Lee to the inside then. And line's going with him. Nick leads through. Nice move there by Nick. He's up into the lead. And here comes Greening against Steve Pepper. Into the same corner. And Greening is through. So the next car, like you say, will be Winslade, and that will be points. That he needs. Oh, what? yeah, stops. Quit. Oh, thank you. That's a shame. Surely he's not a clever. Oh, Russell finally choosing to come in then. And Pitt. Obviously, feels like now's the time. Halfway in the race, I think maybe he could have made that decision a couple of laps earlier. Yeah. It's, it's a hard call though, isn't it, when, you know, how much damage is too much damage. Indeed. So we're on board with Nick Lee. We're looking back at Mike Murphy, who's just been deposed from the lead. The line is just behind as well and looking menacing. I don't think Murphy's finished with uh, with leading. He wants it back. I was going to say, if Nick Lee thought he was going to get past and drive away, yeah, yeah, there's some another thing, another thought coming here. Yeah. Either way, this will be his final race as our, our reigning prime champion. Uh, after he dominated in uh, in season seven in the late '79, I understand he's going to going to have another little break. He had a little break in season six, so uh, look out for him. Yeah. And he comes back. Oh, look at this. Season 10, I guess, yeah. Messenger's half the gap to the front, so he's now only a second off this leader. And there he is, yeah. Murphy is back ahead. Oh, Murphy. There's a few lock-ups there going into the Vale chicane. We now have four cars nose to tail. Yeah, we do. And where is Greening? He's in 11th. He's still... No progress so far. He's still... Closing down on Winslade. Yeah. Oh, there goes Mess. There goes Messenger. Then. Line well, a risky defensive. move, but he's made it work. Very nice move indeed. You see, nine points separate the two now. This is tight, tight stuff. Uh, he needs to still get. Mess. He needs to get Liam Murphy. I think. Yeah. Greening right on the back of Winslade now. Which would. Turn the uh, turn the tide back in his favour if he gets through. Winslade could be kingmaker here. 
he takes out Green Ink, Missing Chat has probably got it. So, is it going to be Dirty Winslade, or is it going to be Murphy and Lee that decide this championship? Oh, that's a tight move! Soon find out. Chris, Ugh. that was so bold on well, James. Oh, he's only, that was a little yeah. tickle it's in the rear crash right. structure there. I was say, he's only one place ahead of Hill, yeah. and that's not enough. Oh, and Gareth Winslade. Yeah, that's round. Yeah, it's and Green's round. through. That's given him an extra point. Who's Has that? indeed. <laughs> that's Barlow round. Looking through the drivers, we're on board with Lewis. Oh, sorry, that was Lewis just recovering. Yeah, I beg your pardon, Joe, not you. That's McManaman. Hill has just gone past Pepper, who's dropping down the order a bit. So, Chris White up into fourth, Hill is up into fifth. So, very tight between the two. And uh, I think Chris needed a few more points than that so he really needs a couple of drivers in between the two of them he does yeah he needs some people between the two of them Messenger uh, sorry Murphy really fighting back now on Nick Lee I've got to say only of these four could do the win yeah they could here he comes down the outside to cops oh Messenger wants it as well Oh, this is tight. Tight as you like. He's through, though. Look at that. There's only four points between the two. We're on lap seven of ten. He needs that extra place. <laughs> he's going to have to pass Nick, or is Greening spins it, though. I mean, it could all be over. Greening's having to fight his way through traffic. But we've seen he's he going fast. Murphy's fighting Murphy's back. He's not finished, is he? Messenger wants this, then you can see. I wonder if he knows. I don't know. I don't. I think it's all too tight. They they just know that they need to finish as high as possible. So there's no place higher than first. That's true. What yeah. would be useful is that fastest lap as well that Aguirre's currently got. Yeah. Drive free for James Pepper. Oh, Messenger really thinks he might have this now. Oh, here he goes. He's got to the inside of Nick Lee then. This is for the race lead and potentially for the championship. Into Stowe they come. Messenger's through. Can Lee fight back into Vale? Look at line look, trying to get to post Mike Murphy for third as well. Lee's fighting back. Oh, that savage defence there by Messenger. And that's put him into the lead of the championship for the time being. Oh, he's done everything he has to now, hasn't he? He can't do any more, but he's got Lee coming oh. right back at him. What a drive throughout the final corner by Nick Lee there. Oh, this is scary stuff. Greening's just passed someone. He's up into 4 2 1 now. There's only three points between them. He just got past Zeph. He's got Chowcroft three seconds up the road then. Keep an eye on that gap because that could be a deciding factor, really. Well, Chowcroft's worth three points. Which is all Greening needs, doesn't he? Who's got the most that would, wins? That would put him equal. Uh, Greening's got three wins. And Messenger has one, I think, at the moment. Right. So, yeah, if he gets that, he would put him, as they stand, in the lead. But, obviously, Messenger could get the fastest lap, and maybe neither of them know which one has the fastest lap. Good point, yeah. To seal it, he could get Kelly. That would give him five more points. Drive through for Russell Bright. One to forget for him, sadly. But the nice Lots of Glory team will be back for Season 9 and we'll go again. Here we go then, we've got our top four coming through. Magnus and Beckett's once again. We're looking at Mike Murphy. Great drive from Mike, really uh, 
showing that he belongs up here in top split with this drive. Indeed. I see Malaren is slowly reeling these four in. Yeah. He's not actually able to enjoy the fight, but he can he can watch it from afar. He's been a slightly uncharacteristically off the pace here. You know, you, he's normally right up there in that, that sort of top top five, isn't he? I think he's having a break after dominating the USF Championship. Yeah, I suppose he's... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at oh, that! Oh, there's a green that's nearly screening. into the back of Forrester there. He's the leader of the 1500. It's like they live to fight another day, but yeah, that was scary. As you say, I mean, anything... If Greening goes out now with Messenger in the lead, then and that's it's it. Messenger's. Yeah. But, uh, he's got to get past Chowcraft, who is ahead of just Forrester, there. We, so yeah. he's, he's got to nail him. We he's just... also got Zeph right behind him. Just do or die for Greening here, isn't it? And we've got this lap and the next lap, and that's it. Yeah, oh, indeed. Here's a replay then. Got, uh, oh. Les Aguirre being tripped over by Winslow's spinning. Well, Winslow's misery continues as Lee as yep. the post messenger. Oh, that's agony. Messenger fighting back, though. Dives to the inside. Okay, well, he was just at I think he just in second in the title standings, and now he's back into first <laughs> again. It's changing all the time. I bet he's just thinking... Nick, please, for the love of God, just <laughs> leave me alone. <laughs> yeah. Chowcraft is there trying to get past uh, Lee as well. Um, Dave Lines messenger. is content just to watch. Yeah. He's, not, he's not sticking his nose in anywhere, is he? It's Murphy. It's Murphy. Is, uh, it's, it's Chowcraft's teammate, isn't it? Ugh, I keep you mixing keep? them up. Yeah, you do. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not used to Ch it. Well, Chowcraft's the one who's uh, being hunted down by Greening. That's right, yes. And we need to keep an eye on that because uh, it's, uh, the gap is coming down between the two. So, Messenger then still being harried by Nick Lee and by Mike Murphy. Line, as Murphy, you say, just yes. watching, watching Not behind. Chalcroft. Not Chalcroft. Not <laughs> Chalcroft. Here is Ben Chalcroft, though. Yep, Kelly, Chowcraft, and there's Greening. Yeah, there's Greening. And Zeph behind. Zeph also threatening Greening. Now, will Zeph... He's going to have a go, isn't he, if he can get near enough? Oh, absolutely. So, another one who could be Kingmaker. We're on the final there's lap. There's a few, wasn't there? Yeah, we yeah. are. So, currently, as it stands, Messenger is champion. Yeah, they're through the loop for the final time. We we're looking at Greening in the inset box against Chowcroft as they come through the loop. Messenger in the lead though. Nick Lee down his inside. Oh. He's got the inside line for Brooklands and Luffield though. Sorry, for Luffield's the, sh the slow one, isn't it? Meanwhile though, Messenger. Down the uh, straight. Yeah, Greening, sorry. <laughs> Here he is, he's going past. What a move by Greening. Sorry, not the hanger straight. The other straight. Wellington. Wellington. Yeah. Ah. We shouldn't do this at three in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> He's ahead. He is ahead, and that's put them on equal points. This could be gutting. This is like poor old uh, Felipe Massa, where he won in Brazil, only to uh, still just lose the title. Well, is that Chow Glock? <laughs> <laughs> Where is that? Yeah, if Zeph accidentally punts, uh, punts Greening here, we could be the... That's, that's mean of me saying that. I mean, because he's a, it won't he's matter a if driver. Lee gets ahead of uh, oh. Messenger, will it? <laughs> Lee was really threatening here. He wants that win. He wants to go on his holiday with the win. Messenger's not going to let him have it, though. No, perfect defence from Messenger. Through club. On to the Hamilton straight. Congratulations to Michael Messenger. What an amazing drive to pick up that win. Nick Lee in second. Mike Murphy, brilliant drive in third. Hard lines, Chris. 
Yeah. Right, in all of that, we that see that Hill is ahead of Chris. Yeah, and it's... Congratulations, Dan. Nice win. Win on the championship. Well done. Oh, that's nice. Uh, we didn't do more that, I think. <laughs> Greening comes home in eighth place, then. Thank you, mate. Appreciate it. Well done, Dan. Um, I don't know who's won between Greening and Methods, though. Chris. We, we, we both won a race each, so I don't know. Yeah, I mean, you finished, like, what? <laughs> they don't know. <laughs> Uh, third, no. I think I got fifth in the first race. And Steve got oh, okay. eighth in the second, so I have no idea. I'm going to work it out. So we see him. <laughs> Chris Forrester celebrating yet another win. Seems like now he's, uh, he's race, opened guys. the floodgates, really, hasn't he? He's picking those wins up now on the regular. Well, that bodes well for him for the uh, next season, doesn't it? Well, he's Same gonna, car. He's going to be in top split, though. <laughs> got him. <laughs> <laughs> So, Michael Messenger wins the feature race ahead of Nick Lee and Mike Murphy. What a fantastic drive between those three. A round of applause for all of them. And we had David Lyon in fourth and Tom Lauren in fifth. Nico Marto in sixth and Gavin Kelly in seventh. Stephen Greening was in eighth place. Mark Zeff in ninth. Ben Chowcroft in tenth. Then Parker, Aguirre, Bright, Maxwell, Innes, Winslate and Miller. So, we wait to see the, uh, the title permutations. As you hear from the drivers there, neither of them know who's won either. So we'll wait to see. And let's take a look at the Club 1500 standings. It's Chris Forrester picking up yet another win. Congratulations to Chris. And Steve Pepper, second place. Congratulations, Steve. What a great drive from you. Lewis Manaman in third. Another podium for him. Dan Hill is in fourth and is confirmed champion ahead of Chris White. Kenneth Olive, James Pepper, Rich Meesters, James Renwick, Joe Barlow, Sam Stott, and Ewan Manningham. So sorry for Steve, actually, yeah. I mean, a podium, a second, no less, and there was so much else going on, we didn't talk about it. Yeah, I know what you mean, actually. That feels really hard. We didn't even clock it. because it just... In the early days, we used to celebrate somebody's first podium, do you remember? We did, yeah. Let's stay up all night drinking. There's just too many drivers these days. Can't keep up. So, Stephen Greening, Michael Messenger, both on 424 points. But due to count back, that means Greening is the champion. Then. LOA's first tie of points at the end. Crazy. Fantastic stuff. Yeah, Tom Malaren in third. Rob Miller in fourth. Holly Walker, who wasn't even in this race, finished in fifth. Nick Lee, then Don Parker, David Lyon, Fonte McGuire, Ben Chalcroft in tenth. Great result for him. Russell Bright in eleventh. Yeah, Kelly. Just missing out on the top ten. Yeah, Kelly, Murphy, Zeph, Etridge, Maxwell, Merrin Hoogerden, all the way down there. Well, that's crazy for a former champion, but he did miss a lot of races. Dan Hill is the champion for Club 1500 ahead of Chris White, James Pepper, Chris Forrester, up into fourth ahead of Joe Barlow, and then Rich Meesters, Ewan Manon and Philip Miles, Steve Pepper, Stephen Koenig, and then Kenneth Olive, Lewis McManaman, Yanaman Pruis, James Renwick, Roberto Costa, Sean Clark, Dave Lashark, and Dave Lashark, <laughs> and Neil Severin. Yeah. So we haven't seen the South African boys for a while. Hopefully they'll come back soon. And uh, in the club, the uh, team's championship, I don't know why I keep saying club, it's uh, Risky Racing Blue who pick up the title ahead of the A team. Congratulations to Risky Racing Blue. That's their second title? Yeah, Risky Time in third, Intergalactic Bureau of Auto Racing in fourth, Wizards Black Sapphire in fifth, Wizards Topaz, Alpha Esports, no slots, no glory, just behind them. And then the Club 1500, it's McLaren who deposed 722 at the death there. What a great result for the McLaren team. Congratulations to Chris and Chris. Commiserations to Dan and to Joe. And then we have Cool Camel, Scudaria Dostratus, Wizards Gold, Team Heat Together, 722.2 Motorsport, Wizards Amethyst, and Shelf Squirrel. Wow, Great what, stuff. what a fantastic season we had then. 16 awesome races. Do post in the comments. Let me know your favourite race of the season. Coming up, what is this? Oh no, it's back.
It's silly season. Silly season is back, and if any of that appeals to you, then make sure you join our Discord and get involved. Here's our socials. Please do like and subscribe to our channel. Um, be nice to get to a thousand subs. And uh, thank you very much, Jules. Another wonderful season. We'll see you in season nine. Bye.